We as journalists have a duty to tell the truth, tell it all, and tell it right away. The press is the only occupation that is referred to by name in our country's own Bill of Rights. The people have a right to know what's happening in their community, and we as the media hold this truth to be self-evident, that it is our job to keep the people informed. Reporters need information. Photographers need visual access to record what's happening. Emergency information and instruction for the general public, it's all public record and information the public has a right to know. In California, the state legislature has granted authorized news media representatives a statutory right of access to emergency scenes under California Penal Code Section 409.5D and 409.6. It is under these statutes, authorized media representatives may enter areas otherwise closed to the public. The California Court of Appeals took the statute a step further in Leeserson versus the city of San Diego, clarifying media unrestricted right of access to disaster areas as well. In the decision, the court said press representatives must be given unrestricted access to disaster sites unless police personnel at the scene reasonably determine that such unrestricted access will interfere with emergency operations. If such a determination is made, the restrictions on media access may be imposed for only so long and only to such extent as is necessary to prevent actual interference. So how do you know who is an authorized, real member of the media, not just there for the gossip? Credentials. In Los Angeles, the LAPD supplies authorized members of the media media ID badges. In order to get one of these, you have to have a background check by the State Department of Justice and be confirmed with the police department through your press organization. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department also supplies media ID badges following fingerprinting to get members of the media into the county system. For more than two decades, the California Department of Motor Vehicles has issued press photographer license plates. The city of Los Angeles issues media parking placards, as does the Press Photographers Association of Greater Los Angeles. Even these PPAGLA media vests should be considered valid. The fact of the matter is the media needs access and information. We have a job to do, and we know that you do too. But we are not adversaries. We can help keep the public informed while you keep them safe. Oftentimes, emergency scenes require police officers to set up do not cross tape around a perimeter. It keeps the public away from the scene, but is not supposed to keep the media away. California law states the access to the press must remain unrestricted and separated from the general public, but there are times to keep the media out. According to state law, it is only when the press presents a liability to an investigation such as crime scenes or tactical SWAT operations. Crime scenes are often the exception to the statute rule. But even then, the media has a right to be as close to the scene as the farthest piece of evidence. The California Court of Appeal said this about the use of police tape. Cordoning off an area for the press did not comport with the terms of the statute, and the access of the press must be unrestricted. In any event, the statute in no way precludes a police officer from recommending to press personnel that they not enter a disaster site. Presumably, their entry after such a warning would constitute assumption of the risk of injury and eliminate any possibility of civil liability. And here's an important part of the court's decision. The legislature has concluded the public's right to know is more important than any safety hazard. The court says if an incident requires a criminal investigation or involves items of national security, the scene can be designated a crime scene or a national defense area. This would then allow officials to restrict all unauthorized personnel, including members of the media. Law enforcement and the media play a key role in our communities. We can be a team, and understanding our right of access, we can keep the public informed while you keep them safe. I'm John Cathy's Klimak. Thanks for watching.